Some crime in Shawnee where a man is charged with attacking the family next door with an axe. 41 Action News reporter Amy Holly is live tonight outside the Johnson County Jail with more. Well, the Shawnee, the Shawnee neighborhood that's located right off of Monticello Road is very unfamiliar with crime. So to hear the Johnson County District Attorney blame the son of a longtime neighbor who was booked into jail here in the Johnson County Sheriff's Office, Central Booking Office here, came as a real surprise. This is the man the Johnson County District Attorney charged with aggravated battery on Monday. The DA believes Anthony Monroe Townsend entered a home on Saturday unannounced with an intent to commit a felony. It's what friends say the victims, Bob and Cindy Dyke, told them, too. It said that Bob had been attacked in the house with an axe. Brad Scott says the hospitalized victims, who are close friends, told him the son of their next door neighbor entered without knocking before noon on Saturday. They say the man entered and started swinging an axe without explanation. He says the man grazed Cindy Dyke, but father, Bob Dyke, defending his wife and three boys in his own kitchen, suffers from serious cuts and a broken bone in his leg. The cut was pretty deep, and it did some damage to one of his leg bones, his femur. The news came just four days after the Dyke family's son, Bobby, had learned from doctors he had beaten cancer. They thought they were out of the hospital for good. Just let your breath out. No, now we can move on as a family and get through this and start the next chapter. You know, Bobby gets his football season back. He gets to be a freshman at the high school. And then all of a sudden, this just completely out of the blue. And now we're back in the hospital, but we're visiting Bob instead of Bobby. Wow. So friends are extending a GoFundMe page that they originally started for Bobby. They're now extending it to help his parents. And we've posted that on our website, KSHB.com, if you would like to help. The suspect is booked into jail back behind me on $250,000 bond. Police told me today alcohol, drugs are not suspected, but he will be checked for mental competency. In Johnson County, Amy Holly, 41 Action News. Amy,